is what over a million dollars in dead honeybee colonies looks like. And this. And this. Absolutely devastating. In the last 90 days, the United States has seen historic losses of honeybee colonies. Here we see over the last eight months, 1.12 million beehives, 68% of all the bees in the United States are dead. And then right below that, the 12 month total estimate is over 80% of all bees lost. Now hopefully this works. The ABF and the AHPA teamed up to send a letter to the Secretary of Agriculture, which wild fact in here, combined losses over the last 12 months, 70 to 100%. That is insane. But anyways, it's written to the Secretary of Agriculture, hopefully to shed light on the fact that this is literally historic losses and to demand some aid and relief and funding to bounce back from this. There's actually been a response to that letter that I just found. The USDA is experiencing government cuts. And so now the University of Cornell is getting involved. And here's one of their first responses, based on early numbers that are coming in, it's suggestive that this will be the biggest loss of honeybee colonies in U.S. history. Catastrophic losses. So Cornell's hopping in to help with the research side and studies and see what, what, what happened. I think we're still leaning towards the side of overexposure to pesticide and neonicotinoid on monoculture pollination. Uh, and then maybe overexposure to harsh chemicals with mite treatments. I think the end all be all goal is to move towards treatment free beekeeping, but that has to entirely do with genetics. And we're so far from that, that that's not even a top of a conversation right now, I don't think. But moving towards organic compounds for mite treatments, I think is a step in the right direction, but lots to work on here.